morning. Welcome to Old Gurra Canastian Parish Church on this Sunday, the 10th of April, um, the Sunday of Palm Sunday, as we start our journey of Holy Week. Palm Sunday always was a very special Sunday for me um, in my home church. I remember it with great joy um, as a, cel- a service of celebration. We all had our palm crosses. I assume you all have your palm cross. Can we see them in the air? You're going to need them, trust me. Okay. We're, going to, we're, going to, we're going to really mine into your inner child this morning, I think. It's also nice to, to say that this is the first Sunday in two years that we are able to meet and wear masks are now optional. So it's up to you whether you wear your mask or not, but um, it is now optional rather than compulsory. So let us come before God as we always do with our gathering song, which is welcome everybody, it's good to see you here. Welcome everybody, it's good to see you here. Welcome everybody, it's good to see you here gathering in this place. We stand to sing. Sunday, our service is a slightly later time of 10.30 a.m. This is because it is a joint service with St. Ninian's. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. We have a joint service with our brothers and sisters at St. Ninian's, so it's 10.30 here in Ogura Um For the rest of the Holy Week services, I'm jumping forward to number four. Oh, no. That makes sense, number two first, doesn't it? Yes. <laughs> World Mission Easter Brunch, this takes place. Um, this is the first time we've been able to do an Easter Brunch now for obviously the last two years. So it's back. Warmly inviting you to stay after the service on Easter Sunday with, uh, to celebrate together. There'll be lots of tasty treats as usual. Maybe some chocolate, possibly, who knows? Um, there will be chocolate, let's be honest. Um, As usual, there are no tickets required, but donations will be forwarded to the Vine Trust to support the work of the the medical ship Jubilee Hope. This is something we've supported for many years, and we hope you stay behind next Sunday for a World Mission Easter brunch. Also, today at 4 o'clock here in Ogunikin Ashton, we have a family service for Palm Sunday. It's in the hall. It's going to be at 4 o'clock, as I say. There will be food after it. Mm-hmm. Sandwiches and things. Costco's finest. So please do come and join us for that. It's going to be about an hour maximum, so please do come and join us for that. Uh, it's involving all the churches from Connect and the clergy thereof. Holy Week services, there are, these are as follows. Monday, Wednesday and Good Friday, 7 o'clock here in Old Gurukin Ashton. Tuesday and Thursday, including the celebration of Holy Communion at 7 o'clock in St. John's. There'll also be a service in St. John's for Holy Saturday, uh, funnily enough, on Saturday at 7 o'clock. Also, I can remind you that on Easter Sunday morning, there is the service at the Tower Hill at 7 o'clock, which I'd like to see you and welcome you to there. Um, And we look forward to sharing with our uh, brothers and sisters in St. John's in these services. Also, there will be the service to the, the walk to the Pierhead on Good Friday, leaving St. Bartholomew's Church at 10.30 and then on to the Pierhead. Um, a meditative service will then be held on Good Friday here at 12 noon. So please do um, take note of these services and we hope to see you at whatever you can manage. 
The 21 Reflections for Easter and Lent and Easter, the booklet is still available. The short videos are being uploaded every day, and we'd ask you if you want to take part or share in them. <coughs> Dementia Awareness Education se Session. This is for our local uh, Alzheimer's Scotland Dementia Advisor, Norman Williamson. It will be taking place on Thursday, the 21st of April, Thursday, 21st at 7 o'clock in the Eiley Hall. And this is open to all who have already signed up for this. If you know of anyone else who'd like to come along, and they feel free to come along as well. But 21st of April will be the first one. We hope if we need to, we will put on other dates if requested. Number seven, the parish players. The parish players are having their event on Thursday the 28th of April. Details are up on the intimation. Um, and the tickets are on sale now. Tickets are five pounds and they're available from Gillian McCallion or any member of the players. So um, please do take note. The, the group would also like to say a huge thank you to Marvin Lyle for all our hard work and organizing and selling the players tickets for a long number of years. And Marvin decided to retire from that role. And so um, she's, she's not gonna be here. She's going down to see family over Easter. Are you not Marvin? When are you heading off? A week on Tuesday, have a safe trip down, send our best wishes to them. But um, please, uh, but the tickets are on sale, and we hope you come and support this event on the 28th of April. Starter packs, following this collection of goods, starter packs in Reclyde. Cash donations now stand at £155. Huge thank you to everyone for all their generosity. Um, do we have any good news this week? Sophie can sit. Isn't that brilliant news? Sophie can sit. I think that's brilliant. Give her a big round of applause. Well done. Happy sitting from now on, Sophie. <laughs> it's one of these skills that you take for granted, isn't it? But you never lose it, really. Anybody else get any good news you'd like to share? The sun is shining, it certainly is. Although it should also be noted, it's freezing. <laughs> it was on Friday morning. Anybody else? No. We're quiet for good news this week. I mean, I could mention something like, oh, I don't know. Let's think, what comes into my head? Oh, Kilmarnock won yesterday. <laughs> so did Morton. <laughs> Double celebration. But anyway, if you've got any more good news, there will be post-it notes at the door. Please do bring your good news with you. It can be birthdays, anniversaries, anything. And please just leave so we've got some good news to share. Even just learning to sit. <laughs> <laughs> or walk and talk. <laughs> I wonder how many of you remember when you first talked? <laughs> no. What was the first word you said? Do you know which first, what's the first word you said? No. no. So that was interesting, isn't it? I wonder if you could find out. Dada. Dada, do you reckon? <laughs> Dada, how many of you think your first word was probably Dada? <laughs> or Mama? Uh, Mama or Eat? <laughs> I'm pretty sure my first words were Cream Egg. <laughs> but I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's a thought for the day. Let's come before God, therefore, in our worship and in our praise. Our Easter, our Easter start, our Holy Week starts here on Palm Sunday. The Palm Sunday hymns are much loved and they are well known. So let us start with one of the most traditional of all hymns, 364. All glory, Lord, and honour, hymn 364, as we come to give thanks to the coming of the King.
Before we share in our readings, there are a few other intimations which I uh, will include at this point. Um, it is with great sadness we have to note the death of one of our members, Sheena Campbell from Nine Clyde Road, passed away uh, a few days ago. I don't have any details of the funeral details yet, but we remember Sheena's family in our prayers today. Also, we remember um, the family of Lynn McGuire. Lynn was just 52 and passed away in Larkfield Road last week, this week. And we remember her husband Kevin and son Cameron in the difficult day times ahead. And we also remember the family of Jim Armour, whose funeral will take place in um, Thursday. Jim was from Skelmerley, but lived his whole life in this area. We remember these three families in our thoughts and prayers and during our time of intercession together. Also, during the school assemblies at uh, the high school this year, uh, at the end of, just uh, before Easter there, I made a promise to the fourth, fifth and sixth years that we would remember them in our thoughts and prayers during the whole of the next few months as they go through the exams. For many of them, they have missed out on two years of exams. And so for many of them, it's the first time they're sitting formal examinations. And that is a very, very frightening prospect, given the fact that you've geared yourself up for it and then it's been taken from you. And so we will remember our young people in our thoughts and prayers during our intercession today as well. I've also been asked to remember, especially in our prayers of intercession today, Her Majesty the Queen, as for the first time in our, in our Queen, in the time of her reign, she's had to withdraw from the Monday Thursday um, commemorations on Thursday coming. And we remember her and the fa her family at this time also. We've also made the tradition now of lighting a candle to remember the people of Ukraine. The situation gets worse for them and it continues to be a horrible story that's emerging of the hatred and the violence being shown to them. We remember the people of Ukraine in their difficulty, in their time of trouble and the time of anguish, and we offer them to God. Now let's turn to read from God's word, first of all from the Psalms, Psalm 118 verses 1 and 2, and then verses 19 to 29, and Ken McDougall will lead us in our reading. So it's Psalm 118 verses 1 and 2, and then 19 to 29. <clears throat> Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. <clears throat> Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord through which the righteous may enter. I will give you thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the capstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. O Lord, save us. O Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine upon us. With bows in hand, join in the festal procession, up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Amen. How are you welcomed in here this morning? Were you made to feel welcome? Were you made to feel valued? This is called a customer service evaluation. <laughs> it's either that we're going to phone you up individually and ask you to give a mark from one to five. I've noticed that my Alexa does this every now and then. It will go green, which is normally a sign of a notification. And you say, Alexa, give me the notification. And it will say, four months ago, you bought something. Give it a, give it a rating out of one to five stars. Four months, I can't even remember last week. So I just go five, whatever it is. So if I've bought anything from Amazon, I'm guaranteeing it's got a five-star review if it's going to be in that. And it's, you get this all the time now after you've dealt with an organization. You, will you take time to fill in a, a questionnaire? How was your experience? 
the, all the supermarkets do it. But maybe we, we don't do it in the church. So this is our, this is our market, marketing experience. How many of you were welcomed warmly this morning? How many were, warm, were welcomed look warmly this morning? <laughs> How many of you didn't feel welcomed at all? But did we go the full hog? Because really we should be standing at the door and welcoming everybody in going, Yes! <laughs> How would you feel if we did that? <laughs> How many of you would feel that's a wee bit too much? How many of you would feel possibly the ministers had too much coffee? <coughs> feeling welcomed, feeling part of something is important. And this is what we do this morning as we come to think of Christ coming into Jerusalem. That he is welcomed in the name of the Lord. Uh, he is Hosanna. The king is here. So let us take a moment to come before God in our prayers. We'll also share in the words of the Lord's Prayer together. Let us pray. Welcome. Welcome to this place. Welcome to this day. Welcome one another. Welcome each other. Father God, the first thing we do here this morning as a congregation is we remember that all are welcome in your, pla- your house. That we are all welcome as your children, young and old, male and female, whatever category we fall into, however we try to identify ourselves, it doesn't matter because we are your children and you love us and accept us for who we are and we are welcomed into your family. Here in this place, we find that sense of welcome. Here in this place, we find that sense of fellowship, of togetherness, that sense of purpose. To know that we together are here to give praise to you, the living God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Here in this place, we are here to rejoice and know that you are our God and that we put our trust and faith in you. And that you welcome us in the embrace of your love. You welcome us in the embrace of your glory. You welcome us in the embrace of your eternal hope. Welcome. Welcome here and now, in this moment, in this time, in this place. Welcome. In the midst of all else that is going on in our lives, in the midst of all that worries us and concerns us, in the midst of all that brings us joy and laughter, in the midst of all that brings us a sense of being welcome. To take this time apart, to take this moment to worship and praise, to take this moment to know that we are in your presence and that you're with us. Welcome through the reality of raising our hearts and voices in song. Welcome in knowing that we can hear your word and share your grace. Welcome. And Father, we thank you that in this place we find welcome. Lord Jesus Christ, you offer us that sense of forgiveness. You offer us that sense of hope. You call upon us to recognize where we've gone wrong. You call upon us to recognize the things that we wish we hadn't said, the things that we shouldn't have done, and to seek that sense of forgiveness, to be open before God who knows us, who knows all we are, who knows our fallibilities and failings. We ask for your forgiveness, Lord. We pray that you'll set us free to love, to share the good news that we in turn may welcome others. We ask for your your forgiveness, Father, for the things we've done and said and the things that we haven't done and the things that we should have said. Forgive us when we hold on to, to grudges Forgive us, Lord, when we fail to see you and other people. Forgive us, Lord, when we fall short of what you ask us to be. And Lord, even with our failings, even in our broken humanity, you welcome us and you make us whole and you make us your children once more. So to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
We raise our hearts and voices in praise. To you, one God, world without end, we come and are welcomed. And in your name, we welcome each other. Holy and loving Father, as a family, we rejoice and worship this day. And as a family, now we share in the words that you taught us to share as a family. Together we come into your presence and together now we offer these our prayers. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We read now the narrative of this Palm Sunday through the Gospel of Luke at chapter 19, reading verses 28 to 40. Again, Ken will lead us in our reading. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethphage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? Tell him, The Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, Why are you untying the colt? They replied, The Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the colt, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. Thanks be to God for this reading of his holy word. And to his name be all the praise and the glory. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing a hymn now called Jesus Road Into Town. But it's the tune of Give Me Oil in My Lamp. So if you could put the first verse up. Thanks, John. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward. You know the tune to Give Me Oil in My Lamp, don't you? Yes. We'll just check and make sure we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Send me such confidence. Give me oil in my lamp. Keep okay. So Jesus rode into town on a donkey. Okay. We're off. Okay. So shall we stand and sing together? Jesus rode into town on a donkey. Jesus rode into town on a donkey. Jesus rode into town as a king. Jesus rode into town on a donkey, and the people gathered round to sing. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. All the people went by. King and his friends went by. All the 
Can I just check with old guard Pam Crossies? Yes. Good stuff. Ever since I've been in the church, um, Pam Crossies were always the thing. Pam Sunday, Pam Crossies, to remember the gift of Pam Sunday. And it's a joyous day. It's a day we remember a crowd being excited. Let me see your excited faces. And the good thing is, I can see your excited faces today, more or less, which is quite nice. No, it's very nice. Let me rephrase that. Very nice. So, but I thought we'd do something a wee bit different this morning, or at least try to. With audience participation. (laughs) So, let's think about the story. What does Jesus arrive in? On, not in. A bus. (laughs) The number, the X1. (laughs) What does Jesus arrive on? A donkey. So I'm not going to ask anyone to be a donkey. I'm not even going to be the donkey myself this year. I'm getting too old for that. But I do need somebody to make donkey noises. Kate, Katie, could you do me a favor? Here. Come up here. Can you come up with it? Can you reach the communion table? Come on up. No. Well, you can do it your place then. Okay, well, come and, come and join me here, right? Can you give me a hand then? Can you do this for me, right? We'll take this off. Right, don't need this. Come and join me. Yeah, that'd be great. Here, you're two each. You're officially donkeys. Congratulations. Okay. You take two of these, right? Okay. You do these, okay. Can we make donkey noise? Can we go clip clock? Can we go like that? Can we do that? Can you try it? Okay. Do you want to join them? Yeah. Right. You're my donkeys. Okay. Can we try this thing? Okay. The donkey sounds. Does that sound like a donkey? The donkey was going faster than that, however. Not that fast. Run people over. Anybody else want to be a donkey? I've got two left. Go on, who wants to be a donkey? Oh, Jim, okay. Or Mr. Dunnett at the back said as well. I'm going to make one. It's my only exercise I get. Make the most of it. There you go. You always want to be a donkey. <laughs> See, I like fulfilling people's ambitions. <laughs> so we've got the donkey. We've got people pouring bram- palm branches. So I've got some palm branches here. One, two, three, four, five. So I need people, five people to be my palm branch. One, two, oh, they're fine, I'll be good. <laughs> okay. These are actually quite heavy. Worse than when you get them caught up in your microphone cable. There you go. Right, so I need you to wave the palm branches. Okay, but can you wave them? They're not going to make any sound because these are real genuine palm branches off a real genuine plastic palm tree. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know how difficult it is to get genuine real palm, you know, plastic palm branches? That's murder. Can we wave the palm branches? See, they don't make a sound, do they? That's boring. So, (laughs) we need to do something. So we need to kind of Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> Anybody else want a palm branch? Corvin, there you go. Thank you. <coughs> so we've got. Don't fight with the palm branches! Get grief! Do you know? We gave the children in the primary and the, pri- the pr- good old primary palm crosses at the end of term service. And I can guarantee you that by the time they left, at least a quarter of the boys were going like this. <laughs> because let's face it, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> but I expected better from my choir. <laughs> So, we've got the palm branches going whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> we've got the donkeys going clip-clop. <laughs> and we've got the rest 
the crowd going. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> this is hard work. <laughs> the rest of the crowd going, well, hey! Maybe not way, well, hey, that doesn't sound so good, does it? <laughs> when we were in Hoyk, and every year they're the common riding, and the common riding, you would gather and watch the horses go by. A bit like donkeys. Only there'd be hundreds of them. <laughs> and all the people would stand at the side of the road and go, way. <laughs> and the riders would go, way. <laughs> and that's what you did. And it was brilliant. It was fantastic. But with a bit of effort, because people would say, so we're going, way. a long morning. <laughs> just, just go with me on this for a second and we'll see how we go. So the, the donkeys were going full pelt. The people ripped the palm branches off and the crowd were cheering. <laughs> That's better. Let's try that again. The donkeys were going full pelt. Louder. <laughs> People also took their coats off. Thank you. <laughs> people took their coats off. How do, how do you make a sound for people taking their coats off? I know what my sound is for taking my coat off. It's normally, oh. <laughs> Anybody else got that issue? Oh, a bit stiff. So I don't know what to do with the sort of taking their coats off. How do you, how did you make a noise to take your coat off? I haven't thought about this. You don't make a noise. <laughs> How many of you also take your jackets off quietly? Yes. Oh, that's not much good, is it? So we've got, we've got you go. What are you going with the palms? Whoosh. I think the coats coming off and being thrown down would be swish. <laughs> yes. So we've got the donkeys. <laughs> we've got the palms being ripped off. <laughs> and then the coats being thrown around. <laughs> and then the crowd going. <laughs> Okay, we're ready to share the story a wee bit. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> uh, Ian, come and give me a hand here, will you please? Right. You take one. Right, one is kind of this side here, side gallery here, including upstairs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And two will be in the middle here. So if I take two, and then he said, um, Jillian, could you come and do three for me, thanks? So, <laughs> right, so you're number three. And that's this side, and the choir. And upstairs, hello, Jim. You're on your own up there, Jim. How are you feeling? Good to see you. <laughs> so, so I need my prompt card, so. <sighs> so, we have the donkeys going full clip-clop. People ripped the palm branches off and threw them. They took their coats off and threw them in front of the donkeys. And the people cheered. That's what we've got to so far. It's a long story, isn't it? And then, one group, group one, shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. With effort. With effort. Hosanna to the son of David. Group two said, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Try again. One, two, three. And the third group said, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Oh, they're louder. <laughs> Can I just say, not that we're going into pantomime mode here. An Easter pantomime. 
just saying, Gillian, next year, an Easter pantomime. So, let's give this a go and then we'll do the story. This is all a precursor. So, donkeys! Donkeys! Pam Brands has been ripped off. Toe has been flung on the ground. Crowd cheering. And some of the crowd said, So Jesus, the crowd had gathered. They were excited. Almost as good as a commander crowd. (laughs) But not quite. (laughs) And Jesus sent two of his disciples to go in to get a donkey and a coal of a donkey that nobody had written. And they brought the donkey back. It went a wee bit further. (laughs) Then it reversed. (laughs) Do you realize if a donkey's going forward, it goes hoof. If it goes back, it goes foo. (laughs) So, Jesus got on the donkey. No, no, the donkey's standing still. You can't go into a moving donkey. You cannot go on a moving donkey. That's just not right. Have any of you tried to go on a horse that's moving? No, and a donkey's worse. You'd make an ass of yourself. So Jesus got on the donkey. And the donkey started off into town. And as Jesus approached Jerusalem... The crowd got more and more excited. And they started to cheer. And while the donkey still kept going with Jesus on his back, so people, some of them, went and grabbed palm branches. And they ripped them off. The palm trees, and they threw them in front of the donkey. (laughs) And then they some of them took their coats off. And threw the coats in front of the donkey. Swoosh again. And as they went in, the crowd was still cheering. Yay! And then some of the crowd shouted. <laughs> and then the rest of the crowd shouted. <laughs> and the last part of the crowd shouted. <laughs> and they all went together. Yay! And that. Then the junkie came to halt. And that is the joy of Palm Sunday, Jesus being treated like a king, excitement, wonder, joy, something was happening, something was going to happen, and then from that moment on, the mood changes, and things get difficult, and the rest of the story, well that's for us to share in the journey ahead, 
And that brings us back next Sunday to the joy and wonder of Easter Sunday. But today, we give thanks to the living God who calls us in and welcomes us as his people. Just as the crowd cheered and welcomed, so we shout to God today. Happy Palm Sunday to you all. <laughs> we sing together from CH4, hymn C 370. Right on, right on. The time is right. <laughs> Critics wait, intrigue and rumour circulate, new lies abound in word and jest, and truth becomes a suspect guest. How true are these words today, when truth is questioned, at this all, it all turns to fulfil a particular narrative, depending on your viewpoint. Right on, right on, God's love demands, justice and peace lie in your hands. Evil and angel voices rhyme. Evil and angel voices rhyme. This is the man. This is the time. Within all the churches, so we come together to celebrate the reality of Easter. The reality that reminds us of the crowd that called Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And in the same crowds. Or the crowd, same, some of the same people probably in that crowd that call crucify him. Crucify him. How quick a crowd can turn. How quick opinion changes. How things change. We see it in the church. 
We see it in how people view the church, how people view faith in our journey, in our society. And yet still we persevere. Still we ride on. Still we celebrate and give thanks. For this is the time. This is the man. And this is the reality of Easter. That from the depth of evil, so love triumphs. From the depths of hatred, so love is victorious. And that love is the living Christ. Let us pray. We hear in our, ha- in our heads the voice of the crowd, the crowd calling and welcoming you, O Lord, into Jerusalem as you came not in procession of the mighty, not in stately grandeur and glory, but in a lowly donkey riding into the city. We picture the crowds cheering you in, making sure you're a good welcome, tearing the palm branches from the trees, throwing their their coats before you. Hosanna, they cried. Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. There was expectation. There was excitement. And then we know the story of Easter that unfolds. That brings us once more into the joy of Easter morning. But we know too the darkness that has to be entered into. The betrayal. The anguish. All that goes with it. And we ride on with you today. We ride on with you, O living God, every day of our lives. We ride with you in the journey of our lives. Through good and bad, through thick and thin, we ride with you. And you ride with us. And we thank you that you are with us on our journey. Today we bring before you our prayers for the world in which we live and our own community and our family and friends. We pray for the wider world, the reality of conflict in so many places in Yemen, quietly forgotten about now because of all the horror of Ukraine, the continuing tension in Israel, between Israel and Palestinians, the areas and conflict of Africa like Ethiopia, so many conflicts, so many places, Lord. We pray for peace. We pray for justice to prevail over evil. We pray for all people to know the sense of well-being that we enjoy. We pray for a world that may be filled with justice and hope for all your people. For that is the truth of your message, Jesus. That's the truth of your coming amongst us. That's the truth of the Easter story. And we pray that that story may be heard. We offer our prayers today for all in need within our own community. Those who are struggling in difficult times. Those who are dealing with the reality of the COVID pandemic. And struggling at home perhaps after testing positive. We pray for all within our emergency services dealing with the difficulties of our society. Our police, our fire, our ambulance, all in the health service, social work departments. We remember our teachers and all the staff in the schools at holiday just now. We remember all our pupils, all our young people in primary schools and in secondary schools. Especially today we offer our prayers for those who will sit examinations soon after the holidays in the fourth, fifth and sixth year here locally in Clydeview Academy and in St. St. Columbus High School. We ask you, Lord, to bless them and be with them in these difficult times. Give them strength, and we remember them before you. We remember our own community. We remember our own neighbors and friends, and we ask you to bless them and be with them. All those who are maybe ill or at home or in a hospital, those who are dealing with the fallout of illness, we remember especially those who know the reality of death and who mourn today. 
We bring before you the family of Sheena Campbell. And we remember them before you today, O oh Lord. We pray too for the family of Lynn McGuire. We remember Kevin and Cameron. We bring before you the family of Jim Armour and we remember his family who will share in a funeral on Thursday. Pray, we pray that they may know that they are not alone, but that we are with them. Lord God, as we pray for our community, so we pray for our nation. We pray for Her Majesty the Queen in her own times of difficulty. We remember her today and all her family. We remember those who will seek election in our local councils. Give them wisdom for all that they do and seek to do within this community. Lord, we bring our prayers before you. A massive jumble of thoughts and needs and concerns, of thanksgiving and a sense of joy that you are with us. Lord, in the silence of our hearts, hear our prayers as we bring our time, before, our prayers before you and name those who we want to remember before you quietly in the silence of our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Loving and gracious God, as we enter now into the journey of this Holy Week, bless us in the journey ahead as we come to remember that this is the man and this is the time. In your name. Amen. Can I remind you of the services that are coming up in the week to come? Monday, Wednesday, Friday here in Old Gurney and Ashton. Tuesday, Thursday in St John's, 7 o'clock for each of the services. Also remind you of 10.30 at St Bartholomew's on Good Friday, then 12 noon here. So please do support them as you can. We're going to close by singing hymn 279, Make Way, Make Way for, the King of King, for Christ the King, hymn 279. We then have the benediction and then you will go out with joy. We stand to sing. Make way, make way for Christ the King in splendor rise To wind the gates and welcome you into your lives Make way, make way, make way, make way for the King of Kings Make way, 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 make way,
chair of the chair of the crowd, the excitement and expectation. And so we journey with them in the week ahead of Holy Week. We journey with you to the cross and then to the joy of resurrection. For this is the time, and you're the man, and into your heart, into your hands, we entrust our lives. Go now in the peace, love, and joy of the living God, and with the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend upon and dwell within your heart this day. Remain with you and be with you, and all whom you love, and share your journey, your story with, now and forevermore. Oh. family time we hope you've been enjoying it please do come four o'clock club at five so please do come and join us uh, for that this afternoon but thank you for coming along this morning have a blessed week and thank you for being you